Again, I'm Scott. I'm with Millennium Luxury Coaches. I've been with Nelson since 2014. Nelson couldn't make it this morning due to a doctor's appointment change, so he asked me to step in and fill in and give today's presentation. Today's presentation from Millennium Luxury Coaches is what it takes. What actually goes into building of your Millennium Luxury Coach? So we're going to go through a few slides and I'm going to show you a couple things we're going to talk about. What all goes into building from the time you pick out your shell until we deliver the finished product to you. First thing we're going to do when you come down to us, if you hadn't already decided which chassis you want, we're going to talk about the two different Prego chassis. We're going to talk about how many slides you want. Of course, with the, the X, X345, you have a two slide option. Um, if that's a route you want to go, we will talk about that. Or if you're looking for more slides, we'll, we'll introduce you, if you don't know it, the H345. Just some overall uh, specs from Prevo on the two different chassis, overall height. Once we convert out, an H3 is 13 foot 4 inches. It's got a wheelbase of 13 or 313 inches. The bay height, of course, is drastically taller. It's 43 inches. You get 83 inches overall headroom inside the coach and it holds 220 gallons of fuel. Uh, number of slide configurations, again, you go one to four slide on the H. On the X, you can do one or two slide configuration. It has a longer wheelbase at 334 inches with an overall height on a new X chassis just a few inches shorter than the H. Uh, the bay height is drastically different between the two. The bay height on the X3 is just 32 inches but you get 91 inches on the new X3 in the headroom. So with the new Prevo X3 chassis, they've really gained you a lot of headroom. That's great for the, for the tall folks who, who really feel like they're having a duck going through the age. The X3 is definitely something to consider. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the floor plan. Which layout of floor plan fits your needs best? How are you gonna use the coach? We do several variations. I just put a couple up here on the H3. We do a mid bath. So your sink, your shower, and your private lab are all gonna be in the center of the coach. Or we can do the bath and a half uh, where the sink, shower, and the commode is in the rear of the coach and then you still have the private lab in midship. On the X3, uh, predominantly uh, a mid bath floor plan. We are working on floor plans for a bath and a half on the X3. Uh, now with all that headroom, we, we found some things that we could change around and we're actually going to be coming out with an X3 bath and a half. Just a few pictures of coaches. Um, paint, we'll talk paint. Uh, with Millennium, you get to design and pick out everything inside and outside the coach. So you get to pick your colors, your paint scheme. We have a lady at the shop who will work with you. First thing we're going to try to do is figure out what kind of lines do you want on the coach? Do you want swoop, swooping lines like these two, or do you want more curved or straight or tribal lines? Once we get your scheme nailed down and, and we figure out which scheme you want, then we'll start inputting your colors. She'll ask you what colors do you like. She'll input those colors. We go through a process with you. She's pretty good. She can usually nail a coach down to your liking within three tries. On the average, some take more. We've had some that she's gone up as many as 10 or 12 tries. But she's very good, she listens well, she hears what you're looking for, and, and she does a great job of representing and putting out a, a uh, paint scheme and colors coordination that fit what you're looking for. Next thing you'll do is you'll meet our design team. When you meet our design team, be prepared. You're gonna pick out everything inside your luxury coach as far as what type of flooring do you want? What type of veneer do you want on your cabinetry? Uh, what type of cabinetry do you want? Do you want curved flowing lines on the cabinets and the counters or do you want straight line look? Um, you're gonna pick out options for, for dining location. We do the J lounge, uh, we do the traditional booth dinette and then we do the breakfast bar. So we build all that in house so you get to pick out exactly what you want, what's gonna fit your needs. Um, the style of couch, uh, we have various options of couches. We have the jackknife sofa, the kidney, the sofa sleeper. <coughs> you want a recliner with ottomans. Um, we have a coach right now that we're actually doing a theater style seating in. So there are plenty of options. It's all up to you, what you're looking for, how you plan on using the coach. 
Uh, ceilings, you're going to pick out the fabric that gets put on the ceilings, the color, the color of the, the ring that we put on the ceiling. Um, you'll pick out your cabinet finishes. Do you want a, a matte finish and what color? Uh, do you want a high gloss finish? All of our cabinets, regardless of the finish, go over to our paint shop and they get a clear coat on them to protect all the edges. So you never have to worry about them peeling up on, on the ends or on the back side. Um, appliances, we'll go through and pick out all your appliances. We have different options on refrigerators. Of course, they are all residential. Same thing that you can buy and put in your home. The microwave, the cooktop, dishwasher, coffee maker, the washer and dryer. You get to pick all of that out when you come down to design your coach. Uh, the tile for the flooring and the shower. Uh, she'll have several different options for you to look at based on do you like the wood look porcelain, do you want an actual wood uh, laminate flooring, do you want a high gloss tile, a matte tile, again it's all custom to you, it's what you want in your coach. Um, wall coverings, window treatments, all the light fixtures, the sinks, the faucet fixtures, the shower fixtures, everything, uh, all the bedding, um, what type of headboard do you want? Do you want the back window behind the headboard open? Do you want it partially open? All of that gets designed at this point. Um, all the accessories you'll pick out that goes with it, and then you'll meet with uh, our customer care manager and our uh, new coach, uh, Lee, Jim Brennan, who will walk you through. He'll take you out to coaches and he'll show you different bay configurations. And you get to pick out, you may see something in one coach that we have. You say, well, that'd be nice, but if we could change it this way, Jim will be making notes so that when we get ready to build it, we build it exactly how you want it. Just a few different pictures of, the, of our design room. As you can see, she's got a little bit of everything. Uh, if, if you're high bling and want all the bling inside the coach, we have that. If you're more of a low key person, we, we can do that, it doesn't matter. Different, different tile for the countertops. Uh, we predominantly use Cambry as our countertops. Um, and then just everything, everything that goes inside that coach as far as design is in that room and you get to pick it out. Okay, how long does it take? We say 20 weeks overall from the time we back your empty shell into the, our building until it's completed and that's including the paint. Um, what all gets involved, there are several different departments and over 85 employees that actually have a hand in making your luxury coach a dream come true. Some of the teams, the first thing that gets done on a coach when it comes in the building is it goes through our rough in <coughs> and electrical team. These are the guys that have the tedious job of running all the wires through the coach, hooking up all the plumbing, um, both in the bays and running the wires up the coach they take care of adding another layer of insulation inside the coach they go ahead and they cut the holes in the roof from the roof airs they mount the roof airs uh, they do all the bracketry on top of the coach for the awnings for our exhaust for our aqua hot generator they remove the demo dash or the prevo dash and they install at that time all the controls that's going to be for the millennium side in the dash uh, they install all the house batteries, the inverters, all of our Lutron panels, all of our panels we pre-make in the shop so that once they're made uh, by our electrical team, these guys just watch and send them in and bolt them in, into the coach. Uh, they install all the uh, TV lifts, so typically most coaches have the TV lift up front over in the helm, and then sometimes they'll have a mechanical one that comes up out of the out of the window seal in the back of the coach where we could do the drop down TV. It, they, they would take care of that. And then again, they do all the plumbing installation. They uh, set your aqua hot in the bay and get it ready to be hooked up as well as the generator. Just a few pictures of a coach that is in various stages. Um, you see this one is pretty much just getting ready. They haven't even installed our insulation yet. It's still got the Prevo insulation. Here's our water tank, so uh, stainless steel, fresh water tank, and then our uh, gray tank and our black tank. And then here's some of the wiring that's being installed inside the coach. You can see the other layer of insulation that we install uh, on the ceiling. And then they started putting the uh, 
They've got our extra supports for our ceiling panels to go in. And then here we're showing some wires <laughs> being pulled down through. There is your uh, DEF tank on the newer coaches uh, for the depth fluid. And then beside it, the shelves where our house batteries would go. <laughs> Next part of the process that goes on is the cabinet team. So we make all of our own cabinets in house. We have craftsmen who that's their sole job is to make cabinets and we make them out of Italian poplar. The uh, reason we use Italian poplar is because there is no formaldehyde in it so you never have to worry about that formaldehyde smell if your coach is sitting in storage. When you first walk on it you won't have any of that smell. Uh, they install the veneer that you picked out for your cabinets. We use a real wood veneer um, so it's no laminate or, or um, a, a pre-engineered uh, material. Uh, it's all real wood. Uh, they build uh, the ceiling, the ceiling range. So they build the, the panels that actually we install over top of the, the Prevost ceiling with your, with your material on it. And then they custom make all the rings that go on where we put the lights, the mirrors, and all of our AC vents in it. And then they will build, also build any of the, the custom components that you want in bay. Let's say you wanted a mechanical bed with a, with a uh, fridge on it where all you do is just hold a remote and run it out. These are the guys that will take care of all that. They'll build your grill cabinet if you want a grill. Anything that you want inside the bays that needs to be built, these are the guys that take care of it for you. So this picture here, this is the cabinets that they had just finished. Up building, they're waiting to have the veneer installed, um, and then they'll go uh, over to our paint department again and have a uh, clear coat added to them. And based on the shine, it depends on how many coats of clear coat it gets and how much it gets bought. Uh, just a shot, overall shot of our fabrication shop. Uh, one of the cabinets they built that goes inside a bay, um, and then one of the uh, the cabinets goes inside a coach. This is for where the washer and dryer and the pantry are. That's all pre-made and then once it's been here, it's ready to go inside the coach. Our systems team, these are the guys that perform all the programming on the coach. They integrate the Lutron Homeworks and Savant processors. Uh, they configure the, the Outback converters, um, connect all the TVs and do all that programming. And then they install the Plex Media Server. Our new coaches have a Plex Media Server on it that is preloaded with, I think right now we're at like 1,300 movies. Uh, at, at just a touch of a button, you can pull up a movie. Um, and then they connect and pr program the 24 7 onboard security DVR that monitors the coach. The new coaches typically have eight cameras that are monitoring all the way around 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is about a 60 day loop before it'll start re-recording. If you require more than that, of course we can do that. We just insert another terabyte uh, cart into the into the DVR. So we, there's plenty of storage room there, but 60 days before it'll start re-recording and it's recording all eight cameras that are on the new coaches. So these are the guys doing it. So he's doing some programming. This is our AV rack that is in every coach that we build. You have your audio, uh, your Savant processor is the next component down, and then our uh, Savant uh, Mac Mini, and then right here we go here to um, Direct TV or Dish uh, network receivers, and then right here is your uh, DVR for all your recording on the security side. As you can see here, he's in the bay, he's doing the wire on the back side, but here's where all of our Lutron homeworks panels are neatly tucked in behind closeouts. If you were ever to have a problem on the road, let's say you had a shade that wasn't coming down, just one particular shade, our team would be able to walk you into there, look and find out which relay needed to be reset. Maybe something caused it, maybe you hit two at one time and it kind of <coughs> tripped its brain, you go in there and reset it and get the blinds all working. But all that is, is pre-wired and pre-made before it gets installed in the coach and it gets closed out. Our install team, these are the guys that after the cabinets are all built, they've been over the paint, been clear coated, buffed out, ready to go. These are the guys that actually start installing everything in the coach. We work from back to front. Uh, first thing we'll go in is every, uh, every cabinet on the back side of the coach, the shower pan that we build with uh, 
build our worms, shower pans out of fiberglass, and then we set them in the coach. Uh, they will build all the covers for all the closeouts, uh, both in the bays and inside the coaches. Uh, of course, the shower gets installed. They do all the flooring, uh, any tile work that needs done. They do the countertops, all the window treatments. They install the shades. Um, they build all the the, the, uh, uh, the covers and, uh, and panels that go in the helm, uh, and they cover all those uh, prior to installation, and then they also do all the bays. There's a look at those guys doing some stuff. Again, in-house upholstery, we make all of our own furniture, so your, your couch, your dinette, whichever dinette you choose, all that is made in our facility by our people. It gets covered in the, the foam density that you choose. If you like a soft couch or chair, we'll put a softer foam in it for you. If you want more firm, we do that, and then we cover it in the material that you picked out. Somewhere in this process, it don't always work the way we design it, but sometimes, um, usually we try to save the paint for last, but sometimes if paint has a paint scheme that they're doing, that they get done pretty quick, we may pull another coach in, so we're constantly moving coaches in and out of paint, so we don't want to hold the paint guys up. But once the coach goes into paint, we save about four weeks to paint your coach because we don't want to rush it, we, don't, we want it perfect, and we want it to be something that you're proud to own and to show off out across the country. Some of the things they do, of course, they sand the primer because coaches all come in primer to us from Prager. So they sand the primer, they'll mask it, um, they'll clean, clean the primer off, they'll install a sealer coat and then put the track lines. So when you're looking at our Millennium coaches, the color that you see the least on our coaches, and it, when you go down and look at our display, look for the least amount of color on the coach. That's what color the whole entire coach gets first. So we, we call that the trap line color. We spray that color first on the whole coach, and then we put the stencils over top of it, and then we start uh, painting on top of that so that when we peel it off, then we've got the, the finished trap lines with the colors. Um, they'll apply the, the clear coat, sand, uh, and apply any final coats of clear. Um, they paint the slide outs, uh, the, front, the forward and the aft end of all slide outs. They paint the fairings um, on the front end and the back end of the coach, as well as all the awnings and they unmask it, back it out of the building, we inspect it, and then if we say everybody on the team says paint job looks good, then we'll go ahead and uh, get it scheduled for the final cut and buff on the paint. So as I was saying earlier, everything that's masked off in white right now is, we'll, be this color once the coach is fully painted uh, and the only thing you'll see of this color is what's under the under the tape of the track line. The QC process, the QC process is an ongoing process throughout the build of the coach so every department um, gets QC as they're building your coach. Um, Final QC doesn't begin, begin until the installation team is done. Uh, but what QC does is, all, along the build, with they're, they're checking to make sure that, and rough in electrical, that all the wiring is secured the way we want it secured, that everything is run the way we want it run, that when they put the tanks in, that the tanks are secured and mounted the way we say they should be mounted that the engine and the, uh, the aqua hot and the generator are mounted, secured the way we want them to be secured. They're inspecting cabinetry. Is the cabinets are being built to make sure they're fully functioned, to fit and finish once the veneer is installed, that everything is, is gonna match up so you don't have any crooked lines or seams. They're also checking all the upholstery work that's being done to make sure that there's no, no stitching problems, um, any, any bad material, um, any ripples in it will, will straighten out. Um, and then he will also, at the end, once once the installation team says that the coach is, is done, it's ready, he spends several days going over that coach from top to bottom, front to back. He will test and operate every system, function, and feature on that coach, including the Prevo side. So, because we tear the whole Prevo dash out, when we put our dash in it and hook everything back up, 
uh, he will sit there and physically operate every single feature on that coach, chassis, and converter side to make sure that it operates the way it's designed to. Uh, and then I already touched on that. And at the end, what you get is your brand new Millennium Luxury Coach. Uh, the pictures of this coach was delivered last year. Um, these, these are all the same coach. It just shows you some of the things that we're capable of doing and some of the things we enjoy doing. Folks, I want to thank you for your time. Does anybody have any questions about what we do at Millennium Luxury Coach? Have y'all built a bunk coach in the past? We have a bunk floor plan, but nobody's ever taken us up on it. <laughs> so we would build one. I, 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 I'm dying for us to build one, but nobody's taken us up on it yet. But I've got a great floor plan. Any others? How long does paint usually have to last on it? It really depends on how well you protect it and how well you take care of it after the build. Um, I've got a 2008 sitting out front that original paint job uh, when it coach and it's there's no touch ups, there's no fading, the clear coat isn't isn't peeling off of it. So it's all in how you take care of it. Do you yearly maintenance, waxing it, keeping it clean. You get 20 years out of it? I would say so. Uh, there are several different coach builders out there. Uh, I mean, we have coach built. Why would they <coughs> choose your company to build this coach rather than someone else? At Millennium, we strive to be the best at what we do. We feel that our fit and finish is uncomparable to anybody out there. Um, we design the coach that you, we build the coach that you design. We're gonna let you pick out 100% of everything inside and outside that coach. Of course, there's areas where we need to put components and things to that nature, but we will explain that to you on the front end and then let you build everything around that. Um, we want all of our systems and, and features in a certain location so that they're easy to get to, they're easy for everybody because at some point you're going to trade that coach more than likely or you're going to sell it and the next owner is going to be able to, to go through the same process of, of being indoctrinated into the coach and we have uh, ideas where everything is and know where everything is on that coach. But again, at Millennium, we're all about building relationships. My number one goal is to make you feel comfortable with us and know that we're going to build you the best luxury coach that we can build using the best products that we we that we uh, use and uh, make you feel as though you're family and just not a customer who's buying a, a coach with us. Okay, thank you. Approximately, how much do you charge for a repaint of the entire coach? A repaint on an entire coach? I've seen it as high as sixty to eighty thousand dollars, depending on how detailed you want to be. Um, Done them a lot cheaper than that, but that's the high end of what I've seen is about sixty to eighty thousand. And the length of time on that would still be a month. Close to it, yes. And we what we do is, of course, that would that goes through goes through the same people that, as far as the paint building, um, but we would have to get it scheduled. So if you came to me today and say, "Hey, I want to get my coach scheduled," I'd have to get with the service department and find out when we had an opening because we wouldn't be able to get it in right now. But we'd schedule that out ahead of time with you and say, okay, we can take the coach on May 1st, and then and then you can bring it up, up then. Is, and then is it actually right. Millennium that repaints, or do you go ahead and contract out with somebody else? No, sir. We have two full full bus paint booths there on facility. Yes, sir. Could you talk a little bit about your remote diagnostic capability? Oh, okay. So uh, with, with the new coaches, um, we, we can do it on the older coaches too. And just do, there's a, a couple uh, pieces of, of electronics that need to be installed. But we all, we have the capability of doing re remote diagnostics. And what we're monitoring is the Lutron and the Savant systems that we use. The Lutron, of course, is your your uh, controls your lights and your shades. Uh, is the two main things it controls. But then. Also, Lutron has a hard button for every function on the coach as far as being able to turn the aqua hot on and off, the high element, low element, diesel burner, uh, 
Jumbotron button to operate your shades. Um, but with the Savant and if you have uh, the, the internet router that we can, we can log on to, we can monitor the coast. So say you're having, you're in Oregon and you're having a problem with, with something that's related uh, to electronics on the coach as far as maybe the Savant isn't uh, responding to a, a, a function, we are able to log on to it through your VIN number and look at that and, and diagnose it and see what the problem is and, and either tell you how to rectify it if it's something simple or we would schedule somebody to come to you to take care of it. Any other questions? Yes, sir. And besides customer service, can you name three major things that kind of separate you from a marathon or a world or a liberty or a, a feather line? Yes, sir. Besides sir. customer service? Besides customer service. Our fit and finish, I feel a second to none on, on our coaches. Um, we take a lot of pride in how, how we build the coach and build our cabinetry and install the cabinetry. Um, next would be our relationship that we build uh, on the front end. I want to get to know you and know what you like so that when we build your coach or you buy a coach from us, that you feel comfortable in your decision to go into the facility. That's my sole purpose in life. I'm not out here to sell coaches. I don't get paid on selling coaches. My job is to build a relationship with you to make sure that you're comfortable coming to us in the first place. Uh, third thing is I would say the systems that we use on our coaches, um, we overbuilt the coach for a reason because we never know what the customer is going to use a coach for. And we want the coach to be built so robust that it can handle dry camping for long periods of time. That it can go and it can sit and be used in an RV park for long periods of time without any issues. Uh, so the coach is built very robust. Yes, we do. We do remodels all the time. So uh, what we would do is we would skip, we would come down and meet with our service department who handles all of our remodels. When I say handles all the remodels, they're, they're your point of contact. We would use our team of builders to redesign and, and do anything that you, you want to remodel inside the coach. So it's kind of a, you know, we go through the service department. And we're, we're just one big family in-house. So we would utilize our resources from inside the building to anything that you wanted to do. But yes, we do do that. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Uh, when you're building current coaches and stuff, what do you use for battery technology? We use, uh, for the house batteries, we use the glass mat. Uh, we on board there are eight, uh, eight 4D glass mat batteries. Um, we don't believe that the technology is quite there yet uh, to go to lithium. Our system has been tried and true for us for 20 plus years. Um, until we, until we see a, a manufactured alternator and components that we feel are capable of handling 100% of what we do with our coaches, we're going to continue to look at batteries. Or the, the, the last time batteries. I'm sorry. Do you see the lithium out there uh, time frame, or is it just whenever? We're constantly watching to see uh, what what's changing. Uh, there, there, there's several key factors that we want to see before we even entertain it. As far as we run five all days on, on our engines right now, um, two are dedicated strictly to the chassis, and three are dedicated to the house side. Um, until we see that the converter and the manufacturer of the alternators comes out with an alternator that we feel capable and powerful enough to charge at the rate that the lithium batteries need to be. Um, and then the, our, our inverter manufacturer, until we see that they've got the capabilities of, of working with, with the lithium battery because they're, they're, they're 50, was a 52 volt battery. Um, until we see that everything is married up, we're not gonna rush to put something out. So 
it's not that it's out of the question. It's just we want to see the technology and, and be able to put our hands on it and test it before we just go. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Okay, great question. I always tell people, and, and this is my, my if, if I've got a tagline, this is it. We're, Millennium is like the mafia. Once you're in the family, you're in the family. Um, we pretty much are a one-stop shop. It doesn't matter if you have a problem with your aqua hot. It doesn't matter if you have a problem with an alternator that was supplied by Prevo. It doesn't matter if it's a problem with the inverter or savant. It's a one call to us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You will speak to one of our three men in the service department who will be able to help you, direct you. If, if you're one of those guys that like to tinker and work on your coach, he'll stay on the phone with you and, and walk you through things. Or if we need to get somebody to you, we'll take care of making those arrangements for you. Yes, sir. That brings me to another question. If we buy a pre-owned coach, we need the same service. Yes, sir. Yep, Millennium the Mafia. Once you're in the family, you're in the family. Um, all of our used coaches come with a warranty. Uh, we believe in our product so strongly that we will offer that warranty, mostly for your peace of mind. Um, we want you to feel comfortable in your, in, in your decision to buy a Millennium, be it new or pre-owned. Uh, so we offer you that warranty for your peace of mind. But again, it's a 24 hour day, seven days a week. Even after that warranty goes out, you still have access to anytime, day or night, no matter where you are in the country. We have two service technicians that pretty much roam the countryside. A lot of you have seen, seen, seen our vans out. Um, and these guys' sole purpose in life is to stop by and take care of that aggravating little issue that you may be having to save you a trip all the way back to Hudson Sam. Um, also, uh, another part of their role is, as you know, systems always need, uh, they, there's an update that comes out. Your iPhone gets it all the time or your Android gets it all the time. Gotta do an update, gotta do, well, so do our components on the coach. These guys are the guys that do that. Uh, so that you don't have to come all the way back to us. If they're out in the field and they're coming through an area where you are, or they're even just passing through an area that you are, we're gonna make arrangements that, hey, there's an update we need to stop and do. Can we get access to the coach? Can we take us? 30 minutes, may take us an hour and a half, whatever it may be, and we stop by and take care of that for you so you don't have to travel back to us. So that's what these guys do, is their, their support for you out there, wherever you are across the country. Any other questions? Yes, sir. What is the warranty? Uh, on a brand new coach, it's two years, bumper to bumper, doesn't matter if it's conversion or uh, chassis side, and then of course with the new coach, you get the factory Prevo warranty. Um, on our used inventory, we do a certified pre-owned, which is a one-year bumper to bumper. Even if it's out of the Prevo chassis warranty, we're still gonna cover any chassis issues for one year from the day you drive away from the coach. And then we do on, on the older coaches, uh, right now it is at 2008 and older, we'll do a six month bumper to bumper. Any other questions? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you all. If you have any questions or want to talk about anything specific, please stop by and see us at the Millennium Display. We'd love to meet you all. Thank you again. Thank you, Scott.